Hello, party people, and welcome to This Week on Xbox Game Pass, and a little experiment we like to call Player Pass. I'm Greg Patton, and this week we'll be tackling Battletoads, a notoriously hard game from the NES era, is now being brought back to life on Xbox Game Pass with the developers at Rare. Will this be a Crackdown 3 situation or a successful Sea of Thieves story on Xbox Game Pass? We'll have to play to find out. So right now, let's play Xbox Game Pass. Okay, so here we are. We've come a long way to get here. This has been two years, basically, in the making to play Battletoads. Um... I checked it just real quick. Okay, let's see what we got here. Difficulty select. Tadpole, Toad, Battle Toad. Yeah, Battle Toads is hard. I think I'm gonna just stick with Toad for now. Invincibility available. I wonder if that's a power up or if that's just going to be um, a cheat code type thing. Let's see. All right. Um, I got Rash, we got Pimple, and we got Zits. I mean, Rash has sunglasses. How can you not go with Rash? Uh, so we could have three-player co-op on one TV. It looks like... I don't know if it's online, but jumping in. I don't know if people are going to jump in, drop it, drop in, drop out co-op. Sorry if I can talk right there. Um, I don't know really what to expect. I mean, I know it's going to be a beat-em-up. Uh, Streets of Rage 4 coming out on Game Pass recently was pretty popular. Uh, my relationship with Battletoads is that it was a very hard game growing up, and, uh, when I had a part-time job at GameStop, people, uh, called in making the Battletoads, a uh, crank call. So, that's pretty much my experience with it. I think it's always been a very comic book heavy. Cool hideout, fancy hoverboards. Right away, this kind of has... An oversaturated oh, look. No. Um, it's the mega famous battle. It really wants to look like a comic Zix, book. The leader, Pimple, the strong one, and Rash, the sunglasses. So yeah, Rash one. is the one with sunglasses. That makes perfect. Kisser. Always Enough a kisser, talk. huh? It's time to best kisser. Why are you the best kisser? Uh, maybe because I practice on my hand all the time. That like sounded like a famous cartoon voice actor. I'm not sure who that More was. Outside. Pimple's <laughs> definitely the big one, though. I don't really know what Zitz does yet. Yeah. You kind of always, when you see this kind of thing, you think about the Ninja Turtles or things like that, where... Okay. Basic strikes. That's not hard at all. Oh, I always lock. I like a good launch. In my action games, I like a good launch. Funny, the combo's still going. Alright, smash it. Okay, so stylish combos. Let's mix it up. It's weird, we're throwing a chicken in the air when we basically punch. Didn't know where he's coming down. That didn't seem like that great of a combo. Yeah, I'm definitely getting old school beat em up vibes. Break defenses. Enemy blocks, strike, release. Okay, so this is like their shields. So we have to kick them really hard, break the shield. Swing and a miss. There we go. Shark Trop. Controls feel very responsive. Um, okay, evade. Yeah, usually right trigger. Got it. Yeah, it's a quick dash. It's not even really evade. It's more of a dash. But yeah, I, I think the it's already trying to capture that ridiculous Saturday morning cartoon humor. Okay, that was like... Okay, so I've had a chicken so far. Collect flies. 
Okay, this is collectibles. That's an interesting collectible. You'd think that might be help being a toad. Okay. He's not getting anything. Hmm, that's weird. What is this pyramid thing? Okay, I gotta collect those through the stage. I can't believe I'm not getting this. What is going on? He didn't get any of them. That's weird. Okay, so it looks like I got tag in as a single player. I saw the other toads up there. So did I switch characters? Okay, look at these weird creatures. Oh. Look out! Oh, we got a mini boss already? Pork shank. Join my game or die. We offer competitive wages, dinner insurance, and he has insurance. No way, Shank. Then die. Healthcare offer. All right, I'm gonna tag in Pimple. Just see what he. Oh boy, that was a mistake. That was a poor job on my part. And I'm getting home. I tried to evade. Come on. Okay, I guess I'm tagging in. Alright, Zitz. Let's see what you can do. And I am failing with the evade. Wow. This is terrible. I am just not doing the job here. Okay, there, finally. It's the beginning, you gotta get used to it. Oof! Still took a bad one. I don't really know what, what I'm getting from the henchman here. It's not like I'm getting help from him or anything. I am just struggling with this fly thing. I'm doing a terrible job. I need the health and somehow... I don't know, did I get it there? Finally? I definitely am struggling early here. I don't know what I'm doing. There. Why is that it? That was not the button. I want to say they said it was X, but it's actually Y. Man, I'm just getting owned here. I think he's done. Okay. Is that enough? Or is he getting his second? Oh, he's just gonna leave. Okay. So we'll see if, like, we just take on some regular enemies. There was the tag. I mean, it has the feel of a button masher, I'm sure. Especially when it comes to the shield thing. It takes really a long time to actually get them in a position to where the shield breaks. For regular enemies. 
they are wearing their difficulty on their sleeve. They really are making this game for people who want to challenge. And I think when you go with like cartoon style graphics, that's always a risk. Because people are going to think it's going to be kid friendly. And what I'm seeing so far, I can see a lot of people that I play games personally with who are going to struggle with this because it's much more difficult, I think, than even you were probably imagining. And we're just in the first area of the game. Um, it's got it's got a cool art style, but I, I just don't know right now how much fun this actually is. is from the standpoint of you're just gonna have to practice to get good at this and a lot of beat-em-ups the strength of them are you can always pick up and play with complete strangers this one this one is going for a specific audience it seems and it's the people who play a lot of games on the hardest difficulty and who try and complete every single objective in a game because I'm really, I, I keep saying it, but I think I'm really shocked how much this game is not really, it's not doing a good job of explaining itself and the difficulty spike. Again, see, we're struggling with something as simple. Something as simple as these flies. It's like, if you don't hit the exact right area, it doesn't seem to work. Like, you have to hold the button completely. Meanwhile, it tells you in the instructions you can hit X. See? That's X right there. If you hold it down, he doesn't do anything unless there actually is one, and he does it right. Just confusing. So, frogs, how you feeling? Stupid? We're not frogs. We're toads. The battle toads. We're famous superheroes. This just in. No, you're not. <laughs> this is Ben Julie Saturn Rings asking. Okay. What are they going to do now? That was at least the funniest line so far in the game. We're superheroes. No, you're not. 4,000 job interviews later. Okay. A mini game? A massage minigame. Okay. Didn't see that coming. That was an... <laughs> okay. Typing. Alright. I thought the promotion was pretty much a guarantee at this point. Then we Water cooler talk? Okay. The email. Okay, here we go. They got their hover bikes. Remember, fellas, Hover turbo turbo bikes. bikes are rental. Okay. You know Do I get to switch between them, or am I just going to use one? Exactly. Yeah. All right, let's see if they make it easy to start at least. Yeah, right there. Hit right into the first one, because I, was I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we get to jump. Yeah. I remember this on the old NES. Didn't look this cartoonish. This is much easier than usually they start. The question is, how long is this gonna go? I, I thought I was saying it wasn't picking up, and then it did. <laughs> this is rough, man. Again, it's always meant to be difficult, and it's living up to its name. Wow. Wow. I mean, it could just be me, but it doesn't appear that invincibility is doing anything. Like, I, I hit the up just to see if it would try. I'm holding the button down. I'm holding it. Nothing's happening. I think that's going to wrap it up for Battletoads. Who should play? Yo, Battletoads is hard. And that's reason number one. If you like hard games and you feel that most side-scrolling beat-em-ups have been lacking a challenge, Battletoads is for you. If you came up in the era of playing coin-munching arcade games, Battletoads is for you. Reason number two, 
If you love Saturday morning cartoons from the Nickelodeon era, late 90s, early 2000s, a lot of the jokes are going to land for you in this game. It's not, they all don't work, but I did get quite a few laughs from it. The art style screams Saturday morning cartoon. If that's what you're looking for, you're definitely going to find a lot of enjoyment from Battletoads' sense of humor. It's a little more sophisticated than a Saturday morning cartoon, but yeah, there were some fart jokes too. Who is this game for? It's for fans of the original Battletoads, Double Dragon Neon, Final Fight, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. But there is a caveat, and that caveat is if you play those games on the hardest mode possible because Battletoads is going to eat your lunch otherwise. Alright, who should pass on Battletoads? The reason number one, and you saw it when I was playing the game, the controls are not simple. Even though it's a button masher, they require combos, they require timing, and you have to master the dash. This could be a problem if you approach Battletoads as a simple, let's all to get together with my friends online or on a couch and play through the campaign in a couple hours. This could be a game that makes everyone upset and you could have your controllers at risk of being broken by people who may get a little frustrated, especially as you saw with the driving sections. Reason number two, you do not like fighting and beat em up games. I'm sorry, if you're not a fan of old school Streets of Rage, Final Fight as I mentioned earlier, I don't know what to tell you, but this game is not going to be for you. The reason is, is you have to learn the mechanics. You have to have patience to learn these games. They come off very simple, but they're usually far more complex. Who is this game not for? I would say this game is not for people who are into single player narrative driven stories. Now granted, I've only spent a little bit of time with Battletoads, so I don't know how deep the story is. But I can effectively say there will be no skill trees and there is no XP to earn. People who are fans of games like Skyrim, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, this just is not going to be your game. Alright, so now that we've weighed all the options, I am giving Battletoads a rating, and it's a very hesitant rating. I'm giving it a rating of pass. And the reason I'm giving it a rating of pass is simple. I will probably play more Battletoads. I like games that are challenging. I like learning the mechanics. The tag mechanic definitely intrigues me. But the reason I'm giving it a rating of pass is because I look at what's available on Xbox Game Pass in this genre. This game is going to be very difficult for a lot of people especially the driving sections as you saw earlier. I did not see the invincibility mode work properly as it was supposed to when I tested it. I don't know at the time of the recording if that's going to be patched. As of right now, I couldn't seem to get it work. I'm just going to own up to it and say it. that's probably my fault or it's my controller. But I will give this game a pass rating reluctantly because I do not want you to go into Battletoads thinking you're going to play with two other friends and have a fantastic time. You are going to have to learn the game. You are going to have to respect its mechanics. You're going to definitely have to learn to dash as I learned in the boss fight. This game is not going to be something that you can just pick up and play and enjoy. And for that reason alone, I am giving Battletoads a rating of pass. Due to the difficulty spike in Battletoads, I recommend Streets of Rage 4 if you're looking for a fun evening a couch co-op with your friends and a beat em up. Updated from the Sega Genesis Classic, better graphics, and a killer soundtrack, Streets of Rage 4 is a great way to spend your evening. Guys, I thought Battletoads was going to be rough, but boy that was tough. I can say maybe play Battletoads on easy if you want to play with your friends, if you're kind of worried about the difficulty spike. But hey guys, just let me know in the comments if you're going to play Battletoads. And if you're more interested in heavily narrative single player focused storytelling, check out the video on Night Call that we did last week. I'm Greg Patton telling you, if you can't play sports, play games, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.